how she apologizes any chance of being friends. No, because there is literally nothing that she can say. There is nothing that she can say to me that will make me be like, oh, it's okay. I get it now. There's absolutely nothing. Not a single thing. I tried to talk to Amberlynn. I tried to, you know, explain to her. That was just stuff that I was venting. I thought it was in confidence. And I don't know. It wasn't. What happened with Amberlynn? Are you guys still friends? No, I don't really think that we are friends. I apologize. I told her why I said those things and what happened. And she just was really angry and pissy sounding over via text. And she just kept going over and over and over about it. And I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I can't take back the things that I said, but I wish I could. It's personal. I don't, I don't know. They were friends at one point. We were, we were friends. I really did want her to be a good friend. I considered her a friend. And then whenever Eric told her this stuff, she just cut us off and was like, why did you say this? Why did you say this? Hannah was talking to her and said, but you still said it. And I was, I apologize. If she thought they were friends, why was she saying this stuff about her? She wouldn't accept it. She just kept going back to stuff that I said to Eric. And I said, I'm sorry. I really am sorry from the bottom of my heart. I didn't want you to hear those things. I was just venting. Did you confront her? I did. I ended up actually calling her before I came on here because I wanted to talk to her and be like, why the heck were you dragging me and your you now? And she started saying, oh, you're a good person. You're this and that. And then towards the end, she goes, you're a horrible person. You need to look in the mirror. Like she's literally, that was all in like a four minute span. And I'm just like, sounds about right what <laughs> so but she's sitting there saying that she's apologized and she didn't mean everything that she said but then you have text messages on her phone she said she did mean them and the text messages she's saying she didn't yeah that's another thing like when i heard about all this like i texted her and i was just like i wanted to know the reasoning of why she would say those things about me and she Really, it's just like, oh, I didn't mean any of it. I just kept running my mouth and da-da-da. I'm really sorry. I really do love you. Da, da, da. You called her after the live view and sit there and asked her. You said, uh, she's like, you're not an awful person. You don't mean those things. And then at the end of it, when she hung up on you, she said, look in the mirror. You're an awful person. Yeah. You deserve all the hate that you get. But just a few seconds ago before that, she said, you're a good person. We love you. We never had any problems. Yep. But then in that same sentence, in that same bread, she turned it around. You get what you desire. She gets what she deserves. <laughs> Ricky is pissed. But she's real all the time. If she's real. <laughs> For real. I know, I know, I know. When was this? I don't know. Like a week ago, maybe? Like when I found all this out and then like I sent her a text and like she's sitting there telling me like, oh, Amberlynn, I love you. I didn't mean any of it. I was just running my mouth. I'm sorry. And I literally told her in text. I was like, just give me some time. I need to really think about this, think this over. I need to see how I'm feeling. And she's like, well, you're a really good person and you're a really good friend and I really want to be your friend and da, da, da. And I'm just like, just give me some time. I will get back to you. And then all of a sudden today, after I'm trying to just take some time. Less than a week was too long for Rafe to wait. To myself and reevaluate everything. Do I really want this person in my life? I go on you now, and there she is talking mad shit about me. That's not a friend. That is not someone I want in my life. This was probably the first opportunity Rafe had to get on Wi-Fi so she could start a live stream. Like, I have spent way too much time in my life being around negative people. I just feel like when you have issues with someone, you need to talk to the person. She should have just talked to me. Like, if she didn't like me, stop telling me you love me. If she didn't like being near me, she shouldn't have invited me to stay the night five million times. I just don't understand. If Amber and Becky broke up, would you still be friends with Amber? Yeah. Yes. Of course. <laughs> this is after the discussion with Eric before Amberlynn finds out about it. Why are you crying? <laughs> Oh my god, that would be really sad. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Like, 
a lot of you are seeing someone that she's not. And I wish I could show you who she really is. Like, she legit is so fake. I have never in my life met someone who can look you straight in the eye and be like, I love you. And then turn around, stab you in the fucking back with some knives and tell other people I actually don't like her. That to me is fucked up. And if you guys want to think I'm a bad friend, I don't know how, but you guys can think it all you want. You guys, whatever. Amber is watching me where she's at. Mm. Hi, girl. You watching? Nice. Oh, Amber Lynn is here. Amby. Amby. You want to talk? Oh, that's so cringe. <sighs> and, oh, oh everyone's saying Rafe, Rafe is live. I think I'm gonna go watch that or, like, guess with her and tell her how it really goes. Amber Lynn's getting a little feisty here herself. Because I am seriously just so, just over the whole thing. And, like, I'm over her friendship is what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm still pissed off, though, as you can tell. Seriously, if you want to talk, I don't care. I'm sorry about the stuff that I said. I was trying to spend time to reflect because Becky, she's, she thinks like a grown-up. Honestly, she does. She was like, I want all of us to sit down and talk about this. And that's literally what I wanted, too. But then this fucking girl is on her you now calling me Hamberlin. Would I date Hamberlin? Hamberlin. Hamberlin. And, like, lying about things and, like, contradicting herself left and right about the whole situation. I just, I was like, mm, -mm I can't do this anymore. I literally can't. Like, I wish you hadn't heard it from Eric, if you're actually honestly here. She wouldn't have heard it at all if she didn't hear it from Eric. Rafe said she was super high. What? Where did she say that at? I don't know what you guys are talking about. I wish I had you hadn't heard that from Eric. I was just running my mouth, and I was high. So... La, 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 da, da, da. Yeah, but Mermaid Kitty, being high, to me, in my opinion, I feel like being high makes people more, like loving and like vibes and like let's just relax and like hang out like smoking weed does not make people become fake evil bitches and talk shit. like no that's not what happens so everyone reacts differently on drugs i still don't see it as an excuse true uh does she smoke we smoked once or twice she's never smoked um cigarettes but we've smoked weed together i don't do drugs liquor but okay no, Becky doesn't smoke. No, no, Becky doesn't smoke. I do. I'm sorry. I can only say I'm sorry so much without it losing its meaning. And I feel like you wouldn't accept it. I tried. I'm sorry. That's Rafe's apology. I think you should guess to Rafe and let her try to defend herself. I don't even know where um, she is, so. Um, if you won't guess her line, what's there to be fearful of? I'm definitely not fearful of her. <laughs> Like, if she literally wanted to guess right now, like, I don't even care. <laughs> but I just want you guys to know that if any of you are ever in this situation where you have a friend and you think that they thoroughly love you and um, turns out they're talking shit behind your back, do not, do not, do not be like, oh, it's okay. I'll give you another chance. Don't do it because it's going to happen again. Fool you once, fool you twice. You know that whole thing. It's going to happen again. She's not wrong because they do become friends again. It's not the last time that they'll see each other. This isn't the end of their friendship. Like, trust me. Mm -mm. No. This is like next level backstabbery. Exactly. And if people don't think that she did not backstab me, then I'm sorry, but you're a bad friend as well. Like, you just are. Like... That's almost like you saying that you would do that to somebody or if someone did that to you, like you wouldn't even care. Like what? No.